Yeah, so first, uh, this we are going to demonstrate insertion of uh, eye gel. So we're going to do a supraglottic device insertion, uh, which I, some people, I don't know why they find it uh, difficult, uh, but I'll tell you the tricks for that. Okay. Yeah. Now, one, one thing is that the way you hold the eye gel, it's, you, don't, you don't actually have to. No, no, no. It'll, it'll cost. No. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to actually hold the eye gel from the near your where you attach your circuit. Okay, not in the middle, not near that. Okay. The reason being as the eye gel goes in, as you apply pressure, it will actually bend and it'll just click in. Okay. And that is the biggest mistake I've seen people actually making it. And you don't need anyone doing jaw thrust or anything like that. I'm going to demonstrate to you this patient has had nothing absolutely. So this will be just with profol. Okay. So I'm going to take a bit of joy. So I'm going to take a bit of joy. Yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to take a bit of joy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a bit of joy. And we have got nasal catheter. And once the patient starts feeling sleepy, you just increase it to 14, 15 liters. Okay. Okay. And one of the first signs of when patient starts going, okay? Ye baat karne lagte Angreji mein? You will be pain free, yes, okay? So I've given 100 mLs and I don't actually, you know, uh, okay. And next thing is you need to actually have your eye gel in your thing. They go, okay? Done. Okay. Patient, open the mouth. Uh, you have the gases on, please. Yeah. He can give that so you want. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And the patient should start breathing. They've already st started breathing spontaneously. That's it. Okay, so build up the your concentration. Leave it on higher side. The blood pressure here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And one thing you have to remember with profile, you will get some involuntary movement. That that does not mean that the patient is not sleep. Okay. It's a known thing. It's it's a it's a fact. And people will go and oh my paralyzed cardun, just have patience. Let the concentration uh, for volatile build up and you're done. Okay. Uh, you tape the eyes, please. Yeah. Why is the blood pressure not taken? Yeah, that's fine. Mac is one. That's leave it. Okay. What is the concentration of inhalational agent that you're using, it's sir? One Mac. It's one Mac now. Once you do the block, you can actually come down uh, to around 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you want to do the uh, the entry catheter? So, next we will be showing. The entry catheter technique. Now it's it is in two ways. You can use it as a rescue technique, uh, wherein, like for example, you have unanticipated difficult airway. You manage to get the um, eye gel in airway in, and then you have to decide whether you have to wake up the patient or the surgeon need to continue, and you need a definitive airway. In that case, you can use the entry technique to intubate the trachea. If the trachea uh, endotracheal tube is not required, you can continue the surgery on IL. That's fine. Yes. Okay. But if you need thing, you need to use the entry technique. And uh, Anil, along with the DSP, are going to demonstrate that. Okay. So you can likely see the entry catheter. Yeah. So what is your recommendation, Chef? So the thing yeah. is, you you've actually put in an SGD because yeah. you couldn't intubate someone. Okay. Yeah. Or you have an unanticipated yeah. difficult intubation and you That's put right. in a subglottic uh, device and yeah. what, what guides your decision there, whether to yeah. actually use an entry and intubate, because you know, yeah. most of us would say, why not postpone the surgery with surgery or if it's something like an LSES, go ahead with the eye gel itself and do the yeah, surgery. Absolutely. So when, That's what I said. when is this situation arising where you actually 
used uh, SGD as a rescue technique, and then you go ahead and establish a definitive airway. Okay, so if you got a patient and the surgery needs a definitive airway, for example, you got a patient who's for laparotomy, yeah. and the surgery has to be done. Yeah. And then you want a definitive airway because you need to paralyze the patient because that's the surgeon's demand and demand of the surgery. In that case, you have to actually have an endotracheal tube. Yes, yes. Fair enough. I, so I think that's probably one of the... Yeah, yeah, what I would say is that if it's a life or limb-saving yeah. surgery, yeah. and if a life and limb-saving surgery then requires uh, a definitive airway, you should probably should go ahead in that situation. And make sure you've got a couple of pair of hands. Don't try to do that alone. Yeah, so just for a backup. Okay. I'll go, I'll remove this. No, just go in, ma'am. Okay. I'm entering the SGD. Yeah. And uh, this is the entry intubating okay, catheter. So I'll show you. Okay. So you put, put your two fingers. Okay, there. All right. And that. And you do this second. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I tend to actually have the other way around. My hand is actually there. So, okay. Yeah. I can't see. Yeah, it, it's shown that. We will likely show in a minute. Yeah, Ani Yeah. Yes. Yes. See the epiglottis. Okay. There. Cords. Yeah, I am above the vocal. Uh, this is yeah. the trachea. Yeah. yeah. We can see the tracheal rings very clearly. Yeah, Okay, so I'm gonna use two percent lignocaine. I can't with air. Okay. Here they call. So you need to have two percent lignocaine along with the air for dispersion. Okay. So you are you over the vocal cords? I need to see the vocal cords. I can't see. Sorry, I can't. He needs to see the vocal cords. Yeah. Okay. Going further a little bit. Okay. You can see the vocal cords. Okay. Yes, and we can see yeah, beautifully. Yeah. Okay. So he has sprayed the vocal cords. Wait the page uh, to work for a minute. Okay. I'm not suctioning now. No, don't need to say yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Thank you. So what the other technique to use is to actually use a air through that, and what it does, it disperses the uh, secretions. So, okay. so we need to at least start uh, okay? yeah. It'll cough. See, that's a, that's fine. It's okay. Just relax. Okay. Yeah. And then, so you're you're in the trick here. now. If no no, just leave that. Now if you actually pull that, then the that's your entry catheter now. Yes. So once you have the entry catheter, now you can actually paralyze the patient. Yeah. Okay. So now can you show the patient's face so that we can see the catheter going through the. So that's yeah. the catheter. okay. And the patient actually has, as you know, I the I paralyze if you want now. You yeah. can close that. Yeah. The entry actually has a connector here. Yeah. yeah. We can uh, ventilate we have them. Modified some. Uh, we have put a four uh, size ET cuff connector and uh, we can actually ventilate through this. This, one this will come out. We'll so. have to just, uh, so, yeah. So you need to actually have it slightly higher flow. Okay. Yeah, you need to show and ventilate. You won't get yeah, it's not easy. We can you yeah, you will not get the capital. Yeah. You have to ventilate and show ventilator. Yeah, increase the flow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can show the flow. Yeah. Because the port is actually too small for the air to actually come out, expired gases to come out. So you won't actually see that, but you can actually see the uh, thing happening. Entitled, yeah. yeah. Rockeronium here? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Rock. So that's the airway pressure showing in there. Uh, no, no. Dodo. Dodo. Pura dedo. 25, dedo. 25. 25 is enough. Pura dedo. 25 is enough. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll. You can buy some, right? Yeah. So you got the time, you're able to oxygenate. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it was very interesting. You showed the tidal volume. And, you know, if people are thinking that you were getting quite a good tidal volume, even with the entry catheter, yeah? But just the yeah. pressure goes up. Yes. Yeah. So the uh, reason why you don't get entitled CO2 is because 
the gases cannot come come out through the small tube back there exactly exactly right it is too small a diameter for the gases to come out it is yeah. coming out from the side there is still space around it that's why you don't see but you yeah. will likely see the airway pressure changes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this permission when you breathe spontaneously the moment you start seeing the reduction in the uh, your volumes okay you can actually go for it okay yeah you can keep the uh, scope away now we'll use it once we got the tube right uh, yes now we'll disconnect the tube yeah I will cut the sevo, and you will be able to practice this technique tomorrow in the yes. digital airway workshop. Yeah, I know. So yeah, just comment in the video. So best thing is to actually disconnect that. Yeah. Okay, so that you got yeah some okay, more space. More space. So that's it. Okay. Uh, that's it. Now the tube. So the tube. Yeah. Jelly. Yeah, that's fine, man. This okay. Just go. Yeah. Now you need to. You need to get this. Oh, don't don't yeah. don't worry about the size. It'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. Somebody holds it. Yeah. Go in. And yeah. All right. Yeah. Inflate. Yeah. Okay. And you can start regulating the patient. So you need to on the seat as well. And you can see the. So we are able to ventilate the patient. Yeah. We can again show the again confirm the position by yeah. no, by no, fiber no, optic. No, so we can see misting of the tube. You're getting CO2 there, and you can yeah. confirm where the position is with the bronchoscope. Some more monitor the count. But yeah, yes. So CO2 is there. Excellent. It is CO2 is there. Yeah. yeah. Once we got tape, tape the tube, and then we'll show again. For confirmation, we'll put a scope again. Your confirmation is always necessary. Yes, sir. So when I actually do do a scope, I actually have my right hand is the dominant hand. Right. And the way the way I can hold the hold the scope, you have my two fingers, okay, little finger, and my other finger, and then I use my index finger and my ring finger to actually do that. You see, I can yeah, control yeah. control everything. Yeah, dikhaiye, yeah, yes, Krim. Baya, yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah. yes, Krim. Okay, yeah. there you go. You are still in the tube? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's not very clear there. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. You have gone past it. Section. Exactly. They're still in the endotracheal tube. It's a long, it's an uncut tube. Yeah, it is. It is an uncut tube. Yeah, we are above the current. Above the current. But it's not clear. Yeah. You know that this is this is above the current. So uh, I'm not going into any other bronchus, but you can actually see the current. Yeah. I think there's probably a little bit of. Yeah. You can actually see that. Okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So use your right hand and use the left hand to then manipulate. So even if that has got, so that's got jelly on it. Yeah. So as you are going, you are like lubricating the lubricating scope, as, scope well. as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We are we are out we are, we are yeah. confirm the position yeah. of the ET tube. Okay. You can do the blocks now. So, Excellent. I I think the position of the tube was great. It's just a couple of centimeters above the carina. That's where you want it. Thank you. Thank Any you. that was an excellent demonstration. Thank you very much.